I was able to track down the two names and then match them with two faces with the Cleveland Police Department, the two guys who first went in that door and helped rescue all the women. You are watching Cleveland police swarm into Ariel Castro's home last Monday after Amanda Berry made this desperate 911 call after breaking free from the fist of Ariel Castro. Oh man, Amanda Berry. You need police, fire, or ambulance? I need police. Okay, and what's going on there? I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. First officer at the door, Patrolman Anthony Espada. Get a good look at this Cleveland hero. This is the first time anybody has put the name with the face. The front door is locked, but he crawls through a hole pried open by neighbors that allowed Amanda Berry and her daughter Jocelyn to flee a few moments before. Officer Michael Tracy doesn't flinch and follows Espada through the hole and starts working on the locked door from the inside. Espada quickly moves upstairs. He spots Michelle Knight. She jumps into his arms so quickly he can't holster his weapon. She hugs him and doesn't let him go until they are both out of the house of horrors. Officer Tracy brings out Gina De Jesus and can hear an officer quickly tell the world they found Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina De Jesus. Adam 23 radio. Go ahead. If you're wondering why we don't have sit down on camera interviews with these two gentlemen, these real Cleveland heroes, well, they might be called as potential witnesses if Castro ever goes to trial. And we don't want to compromise that at all, and we respect their wishes. Live in downtown Cleveland, Scott Taylor, 19 Action News.